Guess what? It's snowing here and hasn't snowed all freaking winter. I was enjoying global warming for a little while there, but at least spring is coming. We're going into March. And speaking of going into March, you've got marching forward the blockchain for Grove in the testnet launch at the Expo in London. So that Expo, they are cranking out the stuff. The staging area for their booth, busy as all heck. And I do mean busy as all heck. I love this right here where you have the Grove representative, right? And then you got the people all smiling and happy. You got this lady here talking, okay, to the, and explaining everything, okay? This guy's intently listening to her, and she's doing it too. And he's looking at her going, I'm the Grove person, not you. <laughs> but anyway, you got that. And you've got John and Carlos sitting down with a representative of where? We don't know who that is, but they have been talking to people of other crypto pieces. And speaking of that, in the announcement, one of the announcements they made, they're going to be going to the Dubai Expo. And who's going to be there? Binance. Now, Luna One, still green and going. Okay, with the volume up and the price steadily over the zero two and the stuff that they're doing, you've got including the green room piece here of this tweet, if you had the opportunity to have a meet and greet with your favorite musician in the Luna One metaverse, would what, <laughs> who would you want to meet? Share your answer below for a chance to win. You should follow Luna One because they do give away quite a bit. And that, again, I got to remind you that I will have sales of the ships and the apartments on this channel. This is a great video with John talking to some people at the expo. And, and the key is, he was being interviewed. Good stuff. Grove coin to be to represent Grove Green Army at the Dubai Crypto Expo on the 7th and 8th of March 2003. Binance, as I said, this one here, blockchain and chain analysis. The market, speaking of that, analysis. Okay, you've got red analysis. Uh, that is not good. I don't like that. Uh, but at least the Lunar One is green. And we'll have to wait and see if this turns around. Because last time this did this, at around this price, and it was down about that amount, it bounced back and ran. Let's see if it can. Well, that sort of rhymes. Safe Moon is really trending with a blockchain talk. The blockchain looks like it's coming soon. With the update that they gave, the last update they gave, you should read the lowdowns if you're into Safe Moon because they come out reliably with Momo and Pulse putting out the information at Safe Moon, at the Education Department. Coinbase to suspend BUSD trading due to regulatory crackdown. That sucks, but personally, I like Tether because Tether has been, it's based in the U.S. and it's got its reliability factor. Crypto.com, I should say CryptoCon artist, and that's not Crypto.com, because I love Crypto.com. Uh, Coinbase who? The uh, artist leave trail of RIP, or as the beast deal victims, from Amsterdam to Rome. You should stay away from any links. You should stay away from anybody offering to help you <laughs> on your wallet issues. Uh, stick with the officials. That's the ticket. All right, so Steve is going to Africa starting pretty much tomorrow, um, I would think. He said the first week. So he's going to Africa to visit the mines in Zimbabwe and Zambia. 
and to give the update on the GSX, this piece here with the farmer's market and the vendors who are accepting GSX in transfer, along with all two, Apollo Fintech with their APL coin vendors using it all over. AJ Moore has been securing a ton of vendors for Apollo Fintech. So you've got that as your update. Any breaking news, I'll get it to you because you know it's starting to heat up. Later, guys.